Oh, oh good morning. <clears throat> Fixing to get suited up, and it looks like rain gear is going to be part of the uh, equipment list this morning. It looks like PA is going to get back to that late season PA that I'm used to. We're going to get some rain today. AccuWeather saying we got a big storm. Most of us to the west of us. Hopefully, it'll kind of dodge us. We'll thread the needle, but we're going to get a little bit whether we like it or not. Anyways, we're uh, a few hours away from where we were the last time we spoke. Um, the turkeys down where I was at earlier, they just, uh, there was turkeys there obviously, but we only heard, you know, 10 or 12 gobbles yesterday or day before yesterday morning. And then even though we killed a turkey, we still only heard 10 or 12 gobbles yesterday as well. So turkeys just didn't seem to be clicking on all cylinders. So a uh, relocation was in order. Also got to share camp last night. We slid into uh, to Doc and Bill George, uh, the whole crew was uh, at their PA camp that they, uh, their annual deal. And so I was able to sneak in and um, hang out with those guys. That was cool. We went and had us a lucky ice cream at their lucky ice cream spot. So that's, uh, let's hope it's lucky. We'll see this morning. I'll give them a report this morning on whether their superstitions are fact or fiction. Got about three quarters of a mile. We're gonna go down this road before it gets gobble time. You can see the light starting to fade into the sky behind me. But it's a good road. I did just notice there's some fresh boot tracks on it, so. Seems to have been a little activity in here. Looks like really fresh, so probably yesterday, so. Hopefully everything ain't killed out. Maybe they left us one. We ain't heard nothing. I'm gonna give it another few minutes here and then we're probably gonna get up. This road forks right here. Both of the roads end in a big drainage or a big hollow. You can cross the, looks like if I cross the hollow and get on the other side, there's another road network. It runs up and down the hollow probably gonna do that. I figure that's probably a little less popular. Crows, owls, loud diesel, no turkey goblin. So we're gonna start making some tracks. The rain's here. I knew I shouldn't have came in this deep. I plan on taking it easy today, just hitting that road and walking it to the end and getting out. I got in here, got to look at the map and I've gotten a little carried away. Always wanting to see what's on the other side, you know? So apparently what I was looking at is a road. There's a power line right away. So I hope there's a road on that power line right away. Hope oh, we ain't gotta beat our way down it. That'll be less than ideal. But anyways, fixing to give a call before we step out in the said power line right away. Rain slid up, got out of my rain suit, about died, 200 degrees. That's what it feels like. This is the PA I remember, this one. Last 
45 minutes to an hour under these contractor bags that are intended for crossing creeks. But it started raining heavy. And, uh, well, I got under my jacket for a while, but then it got raining so dang hard. It was coming around and through the jacket, so I split. I laid one contractor bag over my legs and split the other one so that I could lay it across me, and that's where we've been, up under this jacket, like this. And considering what we went through, because it rained hard. I'm fairly dry. So the plan is to walk down this right of way that I'm walking right now. According to the maps, I think it's like a mile, 1.3 something miles, and this thing will intersect a blacktop road. And that blacktop road, I can walk probably another couple miles around the loop to get back to the truck. I'm going to sign up for the extra mile or mile and a half, two miles, whatever it is, of walking on this type turf and then walking blacktop roads to get back to the truck versus beating my way through these woods again. So anyways, I'm picking them up, putting them down. I'm calling on the way just because, but uh, the wind's picking up or has picked up. It's just barely, finally misting rain. this county road right here on private huh. always on private always across the road always somewhere you can't be I'm always in a pickle <laughs> two of them but anyways I was walking down this uh, road here that runs the property line this public dirt going back to the truck and uh, hit a yelper turkey gobbled and uh, they're over in this field on the wrong side of the road there's a county road between us so it's not so good at least we heard a turkey gobble I've backed up about 50 60 yards off the road just walking up the edge of it yelping to them and they're just gobbling over there I sit over here and entertain this for as long as possible because I just like your turkey gobble. Gobble good for a while. Every time you get a call, they hit it. They're hitting it now though. It'd be really cool if he would leave that field, get in these wet woods cross that piece of wet woods, cross that road, climb into this piece of wet woods, and climb up in here so we could go to shooting at him. That'd be, that'd be real cool. I don't think that's gonna, I wouldn't, if I was him, I wouldn't do it. I mean, that's just me. Yeah, well, we're getting back to the truck. That was a long way around, but the, uh, Turkey over on private, he gobbled probably, I'd say he gobbled 20, 25 times. But he wasn't coming out of that field, I don't blame him, eventually it sounded like, either he just shut up, maybe I just dreamed it up, but it sounded like he drifted away, but he could have just been spinning. But eventually he shut up. Talk about feeling like an idiot. I could have walked right across that road and got on them turkeys today. I'm such an idiot. I am such an idiot. And turkeys were gobbling over there, 11.30 in the middle of the day, and I could have walked over there and hunted them. Anyways, it's evening time now. I'm gonna walk over and try to find them or roost them or something, so. <sighs> what, what, a, what an idiot. No other explanation other than just
can't make this stuff up, man. So I dip off down in here. There's an old road bed that follows this property line. The other side's some timber property that's you can't hunt. Road bed runs literally right on the property line. So I'm walking it. Where I want to be is right over here. I see the top of a vehicle. As I'm crashing the hill, I see the top of a vehicle over there about, I don't know, it's down from me about a buck 25 or so. So I'm like, crap. Is somebody already down here hunting this turkey? So I stop and I put my binos on it to see what kind of vehicle is some type of SUV. <laughs> well, I back up a little bit and try to get a better vantage point. I'm trying to see if there's somebody in it or what, what's going on. If there's somebody hunting over here, I don't want to walk in on them. They're not hunting, I don't think. I just see a big girl, good sized girl, just sits up. She's outside the car. She just sits up and pulls her pants up. What it looked like to me. Just, that's just what it looked like for me. I'm 125 yards away. I am looking through 10X binoculars, but she just pulls her britches up, situates them on her self. I, I dropped the binoculars after that. I, I, I didn't, that was all I needed to know. So I've stepped over into trees and I'm going to go ahead and start angling the way I want to go. We're not going to use the old logging road bed anymore. I heard him talking and then it pulled out. So, all right, whatever was going on is done. Good deal. So by the time I've worked my way through this stuff back here, so there's a lot of treetops and stuff in the grass, but it's open as far as being able to see it anyway. There's a mowed field and like a hedgerow in the field that the turkeys were in this morning. On the other side of that, I'm nervous about going any further without calling. As well as they were gobbling in the middle of the day today, you, you would think if they were closed, they would gobble. So. right there. He's in the field I knew where they were in. There's a hedgerow between us. So I don't know if he'll come through it or not. We got to move. Float over treetop, and I wish I could get up another 25 or 30 yards. Just gonna make so much noise doing it. maybe. I know I should be patient, but that turkey has not moved since I have started this whole ordeal. Well, I didn't push the 
envelope any further. I've got this green field here, this hedgerow, and I can look right through there and tell that hedgerow is pretty open. So I thought if he wanted to come, he could. He was in the very back of this other field right there, maybe 100 yards, 125. But I just let it go because it's getting close to fly, or it was getting close, about an hour to fly up time. So I just figured, I just basically kept my fingers crossed. If I could roost him, maybe he'd do the same thing tomorrow, I'd come back out to this field. Yeah, I'd try to play ball with him tomorrow. The last time he gobbled, I'm pretty sure he had already walked into the woods some. I thought it was right back here. He hadn't gobbled up anything but a turkey yelping all day until right then he gobbled at a crow and he was right in there which is about 50 60 yards off the back of the field i could have swore i just heard a turkey fly up but 125 yards straight back there so that would make sense it's a little early for one to fly up but not too bad let's hope he gobbles on the limb one time so that i can confirm that he's not roosted right over the edge of that field because i'd like to slip out there and I have to look at that field before I, uh, before I get out of here. Somebody's over there at one of them camps. Sounds like they're, sounds like me trying to crank a chainsaw. That's what it sounds like. Cause it sounds like they threw something down, kicked it, and now they're screaming and cussing. Maybe a weed eater. That yeah, might be what it is. I think they may be trying to crank a weed eater. Tell you what, the first couple times of the season, getting them weed eaters and them chainsaws cranked up. Well, if you didn't put any stay bill in them gas lines, it is a bear, I'm here to tell you. It usually winds up with a couple evenings screaming like that. Had some crows fly over. I thought he was going to hit it, but he didn't. Dang it. Yep. That boy's definitely wrestling a weed eater over. He'll be going to Lowe's by him new one before tomorrow, I bet you. If that ain't already broke into pieces. You know he's done mowed the grass and he's done got everything nice and neat except for that one little strip down the driveway and around the mailbox that he's got to hit with that weed eater. And that sucker won't crank for nothing. Carburetor's probably gummed up or something. He's raising cane over and I don't blame him. That's frustrating. Gobbled a few times to let me know it's not going to be as easy as sitting in that field because he's off the back of that field probably. Two hundred fifty, three hundred yards, and he's off the property that uh, you can hunt here, and he's on to. Private property. Y'all hear him? We'll have to get over here on the property we can hunt between him and the uh, field. Try to help him up, I reckon. 